Welcome. So in this video, we are talking the setup for our lab environment. We're going to be setting up a Kali machine, a Metasploitable 3 machine, and a Windows 10 machine for Kali. It's going to be taken off offensive security, where you're doing the 2021.1 version. For Metasploitable, we are going to be doing the Metasploitable 3 based off of Ubuntu 14.04. The download is off of GitHub. In the video, we're going to be walking through how to obtain an OVA file that is already pre-configured for us. And lastly, we're going to be talking about downloading and installing Windows 10 so that we can get all three of our OSs up and running so we have our lab environment. Welcome. In this video, we're looking at how to install our lab environment. I have just a Windows 10 machine installed, Chrome, nothing else. I went ahead and I downloaded VMware Workstation 16. I'm going to get that installed and then we're going to walk through the process how to install the other three operating systems. Workstation is pretty simple, straightforward. I'm using all the defaults. Going to a terminal services, of course. Not joining the customer experience. I'm going to do the installation, do a restart, and then I will move on to the next OS. Installation is complete. I'm going to go ahead and finish, and it's going to go ahead and restart. All right, now that my VMware workstation is installed, I'm going to open it, make sure it runs. I'm going to go ahead and do a trial. And it does open up. Perfect. First VM I'm going to be downloading is Kali. And I'm going to get that from Offensive Security Kali. I'm going to go ahead and download the 64 bit 2021.1. I'm pausing the video for downloads and basic installs that less than time, but this is going to take about five minutes to download. All right, so I have WinZip installed. So I can now close all the pop-ups from WinZip. I can now go ahead and extract my Kali VM. Use evaluation mode. I'm going to unzip it to my download folder. All right, so one it is done unzipping you're going to see a nested folder so what i'm going to do is make this a little bit more organized and on my drive i'm going to make a new folder called vms and that's where i'm going to put it i'm going to go ahead and rename it to cali 2021.1 So first operating system is done. The next operating system is going to be Windows 10. I'm assuming you don't have a Windows 10 ISO, so I'm going to be downloading it directly from Microsoft. Again, I just Googled Windows 10 download. I'm going to be downloading the media creation tool. And this is going to give me the ability to download the Windows 10 ISO.
All right, it took a minute for it to pop up with the appropriate terms and services. All right, so after terms and services, it takes a minute, but it does get you to this screen. I want to choose create installation media. Do not choose upgrade. Again, you can select what versions. For what we're doing, 64 bits fine. I want to download the ISO. I'm gonna save it to download. Windows 10. And it takes between five and 20 minutes. I'm gonna pause it while it downloads. All right, so once that's done, we can finish the multimedia tool and you will see that we have now Windows 10 full ISO. Let's go ahead and open up our VMware workstation. First thing I want to do is I want to go ahead and open up our Cali machine add it to workstation at least. All right, next thing I wanna do is I wanna create a new workstation. I'm gonna use an ISO. Downloads, that's gonna be our Windows 10. Again, I wanna save it to C drive. The default drive should be fine. Make sure it has two gigs of RAM. All right. Finish and it's going to run through the installation. I didn't create a user. I left everything default. I am going to have to do an actual installation, so things like uh, prompting uh, it to boot off the ISO. All right, after a minute, the installer pops in, install Windows, and again, basic settings, nothing abnormal. Don't have a license. I'm going to go with Windows 10 Pro and accept terms and services. I'm going to do a custom so I can install it directly on my drive and it's going to copy and install. All right, so it's finished the installation, it's restarting, and I'll go ahead and I'll set up an account. Starting may take a few minutes. It has to go through its normal getting device ready, getting the profile ready, and all of the uh, normal startup BS. All right, so it restarted a few times, and then it finally let me do some user input. So I'm gonna go and choose the appropriate country, choose the appropriate keyboard. I don't want a second keyboard. It should be asking me for user details here in a second. All right, so I'm gonna be using this for personal use. I want an offline account. Limited experience. I don't want a password for now. And that's it. It's going to do its basic uh, account creation and it should restart and create my profile. Cortana. Mm. 
Again, while it's setting up the profile, it can take a few minutes. Just be patient. All right, so for now, I have my Windows 10 machine. I'm gonna go ahead and power it off. The next is setting up Metasploitable 3. So, we can do this a number of ways. First of all, you can do the Metasploitable 3 uh, GitHub. This is going to be the installer. This is the preferred way because it is based off of a Windows 2008 machine. Uh, Rapid7 no longer gives you the VM, essentially. It does say VM, uh, multiple, uh, Metasploitable 3 is a VM that's built from the ground up. The issue is each individual has to build their own version of it. And there are walkthroughs on how to do it, but I'm going to take a little bit of a cheat way. I found a peer that had uh, this already done. His mini URL for the OVA is bit.ly forward slash m3kmn. It is a two gig file. It is hosted on a private uh, Google uh, doc sharing site. But this is the pre-configured Metasploitable 3 VM working in VMware. I'm gonna pause it while it downloads. All right, it went ahead and downloaded. Again, opening up VMware Workstation. It's an OVA file, so I'm gonna open. Metasploitable 3. Again, I'm going to change where it installs the VM underscore Metasploitable 3. I'm going to go ahead and import it. If you get an integrity check, it's fine. Retry it. I had uh, had this happen on a few different uh, downloads, not a big deal. Retry, it will pass the integrity check. Importing can take a little while. If you decide to manually build it, it does take between an hour and two hours to actually build the VM. There are walkthroughs on how to create the, the VM for you. I just, for time's sake, thought that this was a little easier. Once the import is done, I'm gonna go ahead and power it on. The username and password for this VM should be in the documentation. It is done through Vera, Vagrant, and username and password are the same. So first of all, you're going to notice it's running the Ubuntu version. Let's go ahead and log in for the first time. EAG. R A N T B A G R A N T. I'm going to do an if config. I want to make sure that I'm getting an address that I can communicate with. I 
be configured. So on my host machine, I'm getting 192.168.50.133. So I'm going to go ahead and ping my Metasploitable 3, 192.168.50.134. All right, so pinging did not work. I'm gonna double check the web interface. And web interface is functioning. See, so yeah, I'm pretty sure just ICMP is disabled, so that's why the ping didn't function but this gives us our Metasploitable 3 that is functioning. I'm gonna go ahead and shut down my guest. So now we have our Kali Windows 10 victim and when our Metasploitable 3. That's gonna be our basic for our lab platform throughout this course.